everyone, and welcome once again to another edition of the Red, Brown & Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins, along with Jennifer Brown Day, and I guess the best thing to say is Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you and to everybody out there. And you know, looking ahead at the new year, people are, are all about these New Year's resolutions <laughs> right now. Somebody may have a New Year's resolution to get a new home. I think that was a great New Year's resolution, yes. Uh, but yes, it's the perfect time. Everybody, you know, when they start deciding in the winter that they want to list their house, in their mind, let's, let's get through the holidays, and then we'll list our house right after the holidays. So you're going to start seeing some new right. listings pop up on the market. So now, if you're if that is your resolution, it's a great time to start looking. So we're talking about it, but it truly is a time when you do see a surge in, in, in listings. Absolutely, it is. Okay. So mm -hmm. definitely if you are looking to buy or, or you're going to list your home, they can take care of you on either one of those. But we're going to show you five things that you could purchase today. Sounds good. Starting with one that is your listing uh, just outside the city limits of Pikeville. It is, and this one's a brand new listing. It's located on Gillum Street. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're familiar with that area, but it is Coal Run Hill. And that's a popular area now. It's growing for shopping. I mean, mm -hmm. you've got the Walmart area there, but you've got the Pikeville Commons, the post office, um, so many places to eat there now that that's become a real popular area for people to move to. Absolutely. And this is a great location because like you said, you're just out of the city limits, mm -hmm. but you have all the convenience of being right off 23, all the eating, the shopping, everything is right there. But it, you have the quiet, you don't have a whole lot of neighbors, so it's kind of the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. And this one is, you know, it's just over 2,000 square feet. So. We talked about the location, we'll now move mm -hmm. on the inside. I mean, you've got tons of space. Absolutely, and this is one, it was built in 1968, so it has a little bit of that style where it's big open rooms, the mm -hmm. hardwood flooring, the hardwood trim, and the doors. And I want to clarify on one of the, the pictures, it's actually a carport. <laughs> Um, that looks like this big open room, but you said it'll hold four cars. Four cars easily, and the great thing about it is when they designed it, you can kind of see off the back that you have access to the rear deck. Mm -hmm. That room is actually perfect for a dining room table if you wanted to have outdoor eating or any kind of covered outdoor space. And then again, they do have three bedroom, two bath. Mm -hmm. It does have an addition that was put on years ago that's a master bedroom, a really nice size room. Uh, again with a lot of windows. So this is one that just has a lot of opportunity for somebody to come in and really make it their own. Right, and it's got the large windows, so mm -hmm. it's gonna bring a lot of light inside, which makes any home feel larger. Exactly. So definitely if you're looking, this would be great for a family. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, if you wanna relocate closer to Pikeville, closer to shopping, this is a perfect area. And the price, under $200,000. Exactly. They've listed it at one ninety five, dollars which is a great price on this house. Right. And this is your listing, so let's give uh, your phone number at the Pikeville office. Okay. The number is 606-437-2333. All right. And when you call Jennifer, 107-935 is that MLS number for this listing. She'll be able to pull that right up and get your showing scheduled. Absolutely. All right. Moving on to the next one is also your listing. Uh, and this one is also just outside the Pikeville city limits, but still convenient. Yes, absolutely, and it's also a brand new listing. So we've got two back to back, but this is one, it was actually just built in 2009. Okay. So a fairly new construction, and like you said, in a very convenient location right off Chloe Road. So if you're going up Chloe from the Pikeville side, as soon as you top the hill and go down, then you'll get to where the upper Chloe turnoff is, and it's right past that. And the one good thing about Chloe is it's convenient to mm -hmm. US 460 or to Pikeville on the other side. So if you're going to go into the city, perfect. If you're going to want quicker access to say US 23, or if you're going to go to Elkhorn City or any of that thing on that side, US 460 is right there. Exactly. It is a really good location. Um, I have had people ask because it does have the creek in between mm -hmm. the road and the house. I've had people ask about flood zone. We have the flood map pulled and it's not in the flood uh, zone at all. Three mm -hmm. bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, over 2,000 square feet of living space. Yes, and this is a newer style layout where you walk in and you literally walk into a great room. So it's a living room with the tray ceiling, the high ceilings that opens up to the kitchen and a dining room all together. Massive kitchen that kind of sits mm -hmm. in the corner of the house. It's really one, I've got a picture of it, but until you're standing in front of it, you really can't grasp how many cabinets and how much storage the kitchen has. And we have included a picture of the master bathroom simply because 
it is so pretty. It's got tile, it's a tile shower. They did the double sinks, plus there's a makeup vanity, a soaking tub, wow. and then it has two walk-in closets. So a lot of space off the master. Too many things for us to mention today, um, but if somebody wanted to email you about it and get to get a better look at this, let's give them your information. Okay, the email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right, the price on this one, $249.9 for everything that we mm -hmm. just told you about. So this is a new listing, and I would almost bet it's not going to be a, a listing very long. We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving along, let's go to one of Matt Boyd's listings. Now, okay. this one is important today because the price has just been reduced. Yes, this is one that we have talked about before, and the price was just reduced, so we wanted to make sure and mention it again. Uh, this one is on Hillcrest Heights right off Ratliff Creek Road. It's a three bedroom, two bath. Um, it's a house that they've kind of, they enclosed the garage, mm -hmm. made a really nice size family room and utility space. So if you're looking for that larger feeling room, this house has it. And one of the things I like about this one is the picture you've got of the living room. You can mm -hmm. see that it's got one of those really tall ceilings open to the second floor. And we've, we have talked about this listing before and I, I have told you before, I love the deck on mm -hmm. the back. It's separate from the home, but it kind of has its own feel of being private. And it's hard to say we have a private deck. Yes. <laughs> but we do in this listing. Absolutely. That's why I included that picture. It's so great to have space outside, like you said, mm -hmm. that's kind of private space. And this is the perfect kind of decking area, perfect for a grill or something like that. Mm -hmm. It is fairly close to the house, so you right. could carry food back and forth if you wanted. But it's just a great location to sit out and relax. Like we said, it's right off Ratliff's Creek, which is right off mm -hmm. US 23. And um, this is, hits at Hillcrest Heights. If you're going up Ratliff's Creek, maybe a half mile to a mile, Hillcrest Heights comes up on your right, and you're more than welcome to drive up, take a look and see, you know, do a drive through, see if, mm -hmm. you, if it's anything you'd be interested in. All right, so let's give Matt's information on this one because at this price, just reduced to 149.5, I'll mm -hmm. bet he's gonna get some phone calls. We hope so. Uh, Matt's number is 434-2215. All right, and Matt, of course, is out of the Pikeville office. Mm -hmm. All right, now back to one of your listings, um, but this one's a little bit different. We always try to give people a variety of things that we offer, and today is just some land opportunity. Exactly. This is one, and I think we've mentioned it before, but I just kind of wanted to focus on just mm -hmm. these lots. But this is Cedar Creek Phase 7, which is pretty much, if you go up behind the assisted living off Cedar Creek, mm -hmm. it is that whole area up there at the top. Right. And there were several lots to begin with. I think you said around 20. Mm -hmm. You're down to probably about 10 now. So this is becoming a popular area for people to build in Pikeville. Exactly. And now it's easier to go up. You know, this is this was kind of raw land. It had utilities started and that kind of stuff and the mm -hmm. roads in. But when you go look at a lot, it's hard to imagine what it could be. So now that you've got six, seven houses that have been built, all fairly new constructions with driveways. You can get a feel for what the lots will allow right. and what your property could look like. They are a variety of sizes, so we haven't put any sizes on there. Most of them are at least three quarters of an acre to maybe a little over an acre. Wow. But if people want definites, if they drive up there, if it's something that they have an interest in, we have maps, we have lists of prices for the lots, we have restrictions because these are restricted residential okay. lots. And again, you know, we talk a lot about with some of these homes, you can go in, you can make it yours, you can personalize it. Well you can truly personalize what you're doing here. If there's nothing on the market that, that fits your needs, mm -hmm. you have the opportunity to do whatever you'd want. All right, so these are all your listings. You're taking mm -hmm. care of this phase seven property. So uh, let's give your email address. Okay, the email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right, just send her an email, ask mm -hmm. her about the Cedar Creek phase seven lots. And like she said, she'll meet you up there. She'll email you maps. It's one good thing about your company is you're going to do everything to make the process as easy as possible. Absolutely. And if these properties aren't the ones that you're looking for, we have other lots listed on right. Cedar Creek. We have other lots listed in various parts of the county, so we'll help them any way we can. Okay. Now, on this next listing, let's move from residential to a commercial offering, and now this one's in Floyd County. Mm -hmm. This one is located right off US 23 at Daniels Creek, and it's only about three-tenths of a mile up Daniels Creek on your left. Well, and we've had homes listed on Daniels Creek, and mm -hmm. one of the things we talked about is convenience. That works for residential 
and it also works for commercial, especially if you've got clients or you want people to come in and do business from anywhere in Pike or Floyd County, this one's right in the middle. Absolutely, and like I said, off US 23, so if you've got trucks, trailers, anything like that that need fairly direct access to main road, going into the actual property, it does have garage door access, a loading dock, and then a lot of storage sheds and that kind of stuff for parking big utility trucks. Mm -hmm. So anything that you would need bringing in and out, loading and unloading, this has the capability to do. And you can't tell from the pictures that this is almost 34 acres. Correct. So it's not just a building and a parking lot like you see at a lot of commercial listings. This mm -hmm. one has acreage to go with it, so room to grow. Absolutely. It does have some space, like you said, about 34 acres. The best figure that we can get is about four acres that is currently flat and usable. Of course, you can always go through and, and develop anything that you would want to with the additional. Right. And the warehouse building in itself is over 7,000 square feet, 7,500 square feet. So mm -hmm. let your imagination go wild. And a lot of people, this is going to be for somebody who has an existing business. And maybe you've outgrown where you are now. This is a perfect place to grow and then room to continue to grow for years to come. Exactly. And like you said, the warehouse building is, is just that. It's a big open warehouse for the majority of the space. It does have two offices in it mm -hmm. and a reception area. So if you have people coming in and out, this is kind of the parking area where you could have clients coming in and out and right. that kind of thing. It's set up already for that. But in addition to that, you have an office building mm -hmm. that just would house nothing but your business center, your Correct. office side of things. Correct, absolutely. And it's got about eight to ten offices in it, depending on how you use the space. And it is a little over 3,000 square feet by itself. So, so many different things that could go into here. I mean, a lot of potential. Let your imagination go wild. And lastly, we said, whether you are starting a new business and you mm -hmm. need a space or you need to grow because business is, is doing well, this property could take care of that. Absolutely, and if you just need the office space, this may be something worth an investment of buying the mm -hmm. property to use the office space and possibly lease out the warehouse space to someone else. Right, and you take care of those services as well. Absolutely. All right, <laughs> 350000 for this commercial property. And like I said, you're seeing everything on the screen, but you also have that extra 30 acres mm -hmm. uh, to look at expansion later. So three-tenths of a mile at Daniels Creek, this commercial property. Uh, Jennifer, let's give your email and the Pikeville office number. Okay. The office number in Pikeville is 606-437-2333. And my email is jbrown at rbnw.com. But we also want to stress that any realtor um, mm -hmm. within your company can take care of this or any listing. Absolutely. And I recommend that you call any of our offices. If there's one closer mm -hmm. to you, if there's an agent you're familiar with working with, absolutely give them a call about any of the properties we talk about. Okay. Now we talked about this being a brand new year and I think you have some something to talk about that in the Real Estate Minute. I do. Happy New Year to everyone. Now that we've entered the new year, it's time for new goals, new resolutions, and maybe even a new house. There are multiple questions that you should ask before buying your new dream home. First, how old are the major systems, including the roof, heating and cooling, water heater, and septic system? Something else to consider, have any renovations been completed by previous owners of the home, and were they completed correctly? A realtor will recommend a home, termite, and other inspections that look into the details of the home. This will hopefully answer many of those questions before a purchase of the property. In addition, I would recommend that you look into regular costs associated with the home, including property taxes, utility costs, HOA fees, and insurance. These questions will help you in the home buying decision. As always, the staff of Rev. Brown & Williams would be honored to assist you in the home buying process. Call one of our agents today to set up your showing.